Welcome back. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do in this lecture is we're going to uh, get it so we can actually move the drone around. All right, so this is uh, things like uh, pitch and uh, roll and yaw. All right, so let's go back into our uh, drone controller over here, and we're going to go and take care of handling the controls now. So we have all of our um, main properties, or our variables set up. I think we have everything we need so far, at least. So let's take care of all these. So let's do the uh, pitch first. Uh, so we're going to say that uh, float pitch is equal to our input and we're going to get the cyclic dot y and we're going to multiply that by our min max uh, pitch because remember the cyclic dot y returns negative one or one so if we multiply that by our max pitch we're going to get a value between negative in this case currently negative 30 and 30 all right and let's spell that correctly not f flay out <laughs> there we go all right then we need to do float uh, roll all right so we say input dot cyclic there we go dot x all right and we'll do the same thing we'll say uh, times min max roll pretty easy stuff and then we'll do the float uh, yaw yeah and we'll do input dot pedals and yep we'll multiply that by our yaw power there we go and it's capital p i believe yeah there we go all right so now we've got these values going uh what we can do is we can build uh what is called a quaternion if you're not familiar with quaternions it's a way to handle rotations okay inside of unity and uh, they actually have a bunch of built-in functions that make that makes this process real easy. So let me let me walk you through the process. So I'm going to create a new quaternion, all right. And we're going to store it in a variable called rot for rotation, and then we're going to utilize the quaternion dot Euler uh, function. This allows us, if I just put in the parentheses parentheses there, this allows us to actually just uh, pump in a bunch of float values, so x, y, and z. All right. So for the x. If you remember, if we go back to Unity over here, and I select my drone right here, if we want to rotate this on the X direction, that's going to, that's going to be our um, our pitch value. That's forward and back, right? Our roll is going to be Z, and our yaw is going to be Y. All right, so with that information in mind, let's do that. So we need our pitch for our X. Our roll, our yaw is going to be our Y, and then our roll is going to be our Z, like so. And then all we need to do is assign that to our transform or the ridge body. So ridge body dot move rotation. Now I'm going to use move rotation. You are more than welcome to um, add torque if you want to. You'll just have to go and um, clamp it so that you don't just make the whole um, ridge body flip, right? So we're going to move rotation and you can see that it's expecting a quaternion. So I'm just going to give it a rot like so. All right, so this is just a, this is a more, I would say, arcadey way of doing it. Um, adding torque would be the more realistic way, of course, for sure. Um, but this gets the job done as well. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this really quick. Let's go back into Unity and let's go and test all this stuff out now. All right, so let's make some space again. I'm going to go back here, hit Q on the keyboard to get rid of the transform. I'm going to pick up my Xbox controller, hit play, and let's lift off a little bit. And let's test it out. Look at that. <laughs> and I can tell, obviously, right off the bat, our rotation is really wonky. Um, it's just popping into place. I don't like that at all. But it is working. The X direction is actually reversed. So we could do, we could do a lot of things in this case. What I'm going to do is just reverse the cyclic X by putting a minus sign right there. All right, so uh, let's get rid of the popping, too, since we're here inside of the script. Um, and to do that, we are going to make some private variables. So I'm going to say private float uh, final uh, pitch. And we're going to do another private float uh, final roll. All right, and we're going to do another private float uh, final uh, yaw. There we go. And then what we need to do... Let's just do some lerps. All right, so we're going to say uh, final pitch is equal to math f dot lerp, like so. 
So we're going to alert from final pitch to the wanted pitch. So the wanted pitch is the one that we're building right here, right? And then we need to alert it by some value. And I'm going to use time dot delta time time some you know alert value. So let's actually expose that up here too. So let's do a, a private a float uh, alert speed. We'll just use this for everything. So we'll say 2f to initialize it. And then let's copy our serialized field attribute here and make it all official so we can see it in the inspector. And so we just want to put our alert speed in here now. All right, so we need to do the same thing for roll. So let's do final roll is equal to mathf.lerp. And we'll do final roll to uh, roll by time dot delta time times uh, lerp speed. And then finally, we're going to do our yaw. So final yaw is equal to mathf.lerp. And you could also use a smooth damp too. There's another one. It works a little different, but um, it works just fine. It'll give you nice smooth values. Uh, I usually start with lerps when I'm doing this stuff. And then, you know, wherever I see an opportunity to um, use the smooth damp where, where I want to actually control how long something actually takes to get to its final destination, that's where I use the smooth damp. All right, whereas the lerp just kind of gets there based off of, you know, time dot delta time times lerp speed in this case. So we'll say lerp speed and there we go. So now rather than, um, doing these guys let's just do final pitch all right final uh, roll for the z axis and then final yaw for the y there we go and that'll be much smoother now all right we'll let that compile and let's play let's take off yeah so there we go so now we're working yeah look at that we have a drone <laughs> It's actually pretty fun to fly and honestly this all started because i got a little new little drone that has a camera on it and i've been flying it around my house and uh i was just like oh man it'd be so sweet to to actually uh make that in inside of unity to practice this would make actually you could hook this up with like some vr goggles or something like that and totally make like a you know drone trainer or something like that i mean there's tons of possibilities for this doesn't even need to be a drone you could hook a gun on this and turn it into some sort of drone gun battle thing <laughs> all right so there's our our controls the next or the last thing we really need to do is we need to um hook up the actually let's try the yaw the yaw's not really working is it actually good thing i was thinking about that and that is because so this actually needs to be a value that's uh, declared up here so let's do this because I need to add value onto it. Currently, it's just going between um, four and negative four. All right, so let's do private float yaw. And then what yaw is going to do is we're going to constantly add onto it, like so. So yaw plus equals this value. And basically, what that means is, you know, every single frame, we're just constantly adding onto it, you know. And so this this will cause the drone to spin around, right? So let's go and take a look at this. All right, let's hit play. Now let's take off. So now let's take a look at the, there we go. There we go. So now we can really start to fly around. I am not an expert drone pilot. I'm still getting used to it. It's actually really hard. <laughs> but, you know, this is a good way to, you know, train and practice. I, you know, I've specifically set up the Xbox controller because it mimics the drone controller um, pretty one for one. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Cool little drone. Yeah, I'm digging that. All right. So one thing you'll notice um, we're going to take care of here. So if I were to go right, you can see as I am moving left and right, I'm actually losing altitude. And that's because um, let's actually kind of talk about Well, actually, let's close out the lecture there and then I'll talk about it in the next lecture. OK, thanks so much. 